Following is a list of casualties, both civilian and military, so far as can be determined from incomplete reports. Dorothy Hughes, Eddie Fields, William Sickner. Yes? What? Abducted? When did this happen? Well, find him if you have to turn this town upside down. This may strain relations between friendly powers at a time when we can least afford it. Police report the Black Samurai have abducted Ma Ling. Well, how could they? We've had him under constant police guard. Nevertheless, he's gone. And with him goes China's chance for a secret supply line from India. You mustn't give up hope, Wu Tan. Captain Martin has gotten Ma Ling out of worse situations than this. Captain Martin has performed miracles. This time he will fail. I will never see my friend and master alive. I know. Hello. Yes, this is Jenna Thompson. Our only clue leads to a German named Blenker. Captain Martin is on his way there now with Captain Wing and my brother. Should have got sight of him by now. We're on the right lead. Probably a dozen roads to his place. That looks like the car we saw leave the alley. It certainly does. That's the car we want, all right. Notice how he picked up speed when he spotted us? Jack? Yeah, but we better get Wing out of there. I think he's in bad shape. Look, Tommy, you take care of him, will you? I've got to get to Blankers. Marling tied up in the car outside. Hope they bring him in. Can't bring him here. Police are on the way. Their car just went over the bridge. 
Nevertheless, you are not to bring him here. Fräulein von Teufel just phoned. Did she say where to take him? No. I have to hide him somewhere. Get her on the phone again. Hello? No, this is Miss Thompson. Miss Miller just left. If it's important, I think I can catch her. Never mind. I'll call later. I guess we'd better follow after Jack. Right-o, if you think you can make it. Oh. I'm not as steady as I thought I was. Here comes just what we need. We've had a little accident with our car. Can we commandeer yours for some police work? Get in. Leave Marling outside any longer. Help me bring him. Oh, so sorry, I cannot disobey Fräulein von Teufel. Well, where else can we take him? To headquarters on Schooner. In broad daylight, don't be a fool. It'll soon be dark. We can drive around till then. What do you think? No. Hey, Jack! Hop aboard. Police headquarters, please. Hello? Hello, this is Jack Martin speaking. Do you happen to know anything about a schooner named Lorelei Fourth? What? A derelict? Here in the harbor? Oh, at Fisherman's Docks. Used as a houseboat. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Thanks. <coughs> I've heard so much about your new method of preparing propaganda. I want to see it for myself. You come at the opportune time, Fräulein von Teufel. We were just preparing a new release, and it will serve as a demonstration. Actually, what you do is substitute new words to a recording of anybody's voice, isn't that right? Yes. Here, I will show you. I take pleasure in introducing Amos B. Muffet long experience as a missionary in the Orient will, I am sure, interest all American listeners. The Reverend Moffat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no time for introductory remarks. As an eyewitness of the Japanese occupation of Shanghai, I say without hesitation that the atrocities committed by the Japs on unarmed civilians are beyond my power to describe. Throughout the second day, you will notice, Fräulein von Teufel, that the voice of Reverend Moffat on this record is deep and resonant. Uh, ready? Just a minute. One step at a time. You are now going to have the Reverend Moffat say what you want him to say. 
New words, nicht wahr? Yes. Now fix it. I don't talk into this Fräulein von Teufel. I merely mouth any words I want Reverend Martha to speak. Oh, so? Now you speak what you like. I make two records of same. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no time for introductory remarks. As an eyewitness of the Japanese occupation of Shanghai, I say without hesitation that the alleged atrocities committed by the Japanese are lies, utterly without foundation. Their care of the Chinese wounded and their... <coughs> we'll have to do it over. Later. Play what you've just made. I want to hear it as a straight recording. You give me the record. This record would fool Reverend Moffat himself, nicht wahr? Jawohl. It is the most powerful and ingenious propaganda weapon yet devised. Now, I would like to see the whole operation again. reason to be sorry. Take him in there. What makes you think he's down there? That wasn't at his house. This doesn't mean that he's here. Come on, get off this boat. to give us the Mandan's secret without a little persuasion from my men. Slight correction. I am not likely to give it to you under any circumstances. Tie up his feet. We will return and make you change your mind about giving us the secret.
I must not let the people at the hotel begin to wonder about me. We will attend to Ma Ling when I return. Captain Martin! Marlene, with your head. I am dying. Oh, no, it can't be that bad. I'll get you, Doctor. No. There is not much time. I must tell you Mandon's secret. Start it. Return to Mandon. Pass through the village, and... Wait! You mustn't tell me. Anybody in that next room could overhear every word we speak. If you give it to me, I'll be dead by the morning, and the Mandan's secret will be in Tokyo. Let me go back to the Losan and tell him you sent me to get the secret. That will be best. But I must tell you one last thing. She is. Yes? She. How did he get in here? Through the hatch? Make sure that he doesn't get back out, but don't kill him. fast. Take these and Marling's records that I threw away, and we'll scramble them into a recording that will give Captain Martin something to remember for the rest of his life. Police headquarters, please. Thompson speaking. Have you had any word of Captain Martin? We're a bit worried about him. Oh, you have? He did. Fine. Thank you very much. They say Jack telephoned them this afternoon, inquiring about an old schooner named the Lorelei down at Fisherman's Dock. He's probably picked up the lead on Marling. We better have a look. Bye, sis. See you later. Good. Now all we have to do is mail this to the police, and it will give Captain Martin something to remember for the rest of his life. This will get us the man in secret. Police! The guards can't hold them! Is there any place to hide? Yes, in there. Bring all the used records. Find. Help me get Jack out where we can take care of him. This one's dead. I think so, but the other one's dead. What other one? An elderly Chinese in there. An elderly Chinese? Yes. Ma Ling. They got him. The black samurai. Come all on. Right. Thanks. I wonder what all this recording apparatus is for. To the police. Play this record, then thank the black samurai for doing your job for you. 
moment I thought my old eyes deceived me. That's Marlene's voice. If my conjecture is correct, I am face to face with Fräulein von Teufel. And I thought you were my friend. Surprised to find the Fräulein's a man, huh? Well, Jack, that sounds like your voice. Of all my friends, I think That's what comes from trusting people, Marling. Now I've got your secret, and after I get rid of you, I'm selling it to the nation, paying the most for it, whether the black samurai likes it or not. Thanks, Marling. And so long. One of those voices was yours, wasn't it? Sounded like mine, all right, but it's not. Must be some kind of a trick. It's a trick, all right, but you just weren't smart enough. You're under arrest, Martin, on two counts, murder and treason against the government of the United States. Oh.